Hope he can take one down with him. Oh, big, big break. Wow. I love that. Nico to clutch. He knows where both are. Fur low as well. I like that. Smoke will force Fur to be unincluded. He jumps up on the hay bales and hits the spray a little wildly. That's the hard part done. Three Wait, bullets is all he needs. And Nico secures 12 for the FaZe Clan. You see that he faked the reload. It baited Fur out to go for the jewel there. He was creeping around on low HP to find the frag, but... I notice he's made the reverse switch. So I'm curious what's going on there, Jason. Sponsorships. Maybe. Yeah, that could be it, but I don't think Road is a sponsor of it. We'll have to see. I don't know. Nades. Whoa! Oh, goodbye, bye JT. Bye. <laughs> that B site. Man down now as the Nades find a lot of damage out of the gate. And Team Liquid. But it gets those AKs out just that little bit earlier. Down into pop. Taser in hand. Alexa B ready to dish out some justice. No one comes his way. Ooh, oh, there he yeah. is! He gets it! Taser kill for Alexa B, the first Zeus and the first best of three as well. And already, it's very interesting to me. Oh, hang on a minute. Here's the little run boost. Over he goes. Oh, so Rops is on the right. Okay, okay, now we get to see it. He's ready for it. Oh, my word. Look Bad at that, man. Roy. Shot down. Oh, my goodness. Don't worry, Ooh. sir. Our best man is on the case. Rob's just there, ready and raring to go. The cheeky flair to this Astralis squad. Oh, ramp is Ooh. free. S tag is flying high. Shox is already in the B site, though. Oh, dear, jumping round. I love this movement. Oh, my. It's so <laughs> distracting. And Dupree is going to find that opening kill. S tag, you little wonder, you little whiz, flying around the sky. Device is going to get Apex getting aggressive inside of the lobby. This time a lurk for Astralis. It was even more passive than Vitality were ready for. Couple of SMGs in the mix. This time around, it's three over towards the B bomb site. One towards Long. One over towards the A ramp. Oh, they're going through this. And Hunter was waiting for them, but he's lost his life. Oh, it's brilliant. OG, another look. Another one from the page. This time it's aggression into the tunnels. The fake incendiary for the sound cue. Oh. Three kills needed. Do be sure to bear in mind that D has wrapped around close to this smoke. Favin's holding from Pop Dog. They tap the bomb. The bomb is planted for Pop. He's got this nifty little flash out through the window, wow. and Valder is so damn blind. Oh. Mantu's looking the wrong way, and Sprout reached double digits at the end and of the. Tessa's keeping his cool. That's the A rotator. He holds the A push. So they know that now. That information is in G2's back pocket. How will they use it? 50 seconds. Nico posturing back, perhaps just to line up a smoke. Full util set being deployed towards B here, but they're not following it up. Walking back towards the A site. Oh, you said mind games, this is it. They are in each other's heads right now, but 30 seconds. Hunters side, rotated. They've fallen for it. Hook, line, and sink. Oh. They're all the way over there. Is there anyone on the site? I don't think so, and Tessus is going to have them locked mid. in. Oh, it's so good. They got mid and the A site here. If Tessus can just hold this, the only avenue is snipers. They can post someone up on that. Kenny going to get caught in transition. And now Nexus got across as well. Tessus has done enough. He can disappear here. Hunter's got to focus on him for a second. The clock will continue to tick. The clock has no respect for your procedural clears. And it would be a hero moment required here. A smoke, defuse, one of their best bets. How do you get back into this? <laughs> God, I haven't seen anything like that in a while, honestly. What a brilliant setup. What a brilliant play. And from young players coming up and putting this into place in one of the most pressured scenarios. That was cool. Grim has given us an all-star performance here. He's got that bomb down, but now he's going to get hounded down by three, and he's got no support from Nap, who's now left in the clutch, but he's got it down it's from the 1v3 to a 1v1. Opens up the double doors, trying to play these mind games, and Tarek, he's not one for mind games. He goes looking for Naf with no kit in Tarek's hands. Time becomes the problem. He's looking for it, oh, is no, dropped, dropped in the site. He's gonna go back. Tarek, it's beneath you. He gets it, he gets the kit, but is that gonna be enough? There's so little time left. He's sticking it, door oh, opens no, wide. Naf, flash. oh, he's out of ammo, but the stab comes in just in time for Naf. Team Liquid, they get the pistol and it's a huge 1B. Look at the speed in which he tried to approach that and how quickly MBK dispatched. Quick little flash as well. Jax is in trouble, sprayed into MBK. Okay, three more bullets left in the mag. Switching over the Deagle, but the nade does it. Kenny right there, though, having to switch the old orb oh. into a shotgun. Oh, what? Oh, yes.
yes! It's a caught through the wall, a Kenny S flick. It really does remind you of what he's capable of. No one is safe, no one is free. Hampers, he's found a gap, he's found a timing, but he's spamming back and that will give away his position. Astralis know that NIP already have players out into the site. Smoke in the connector, but five players here. Astralis are so prepared. Ooh, yeah, this is rough. You're walking into an extreme situation here if you're NIP. Hampus, though, they call him the tenderizer, and he's going to soften up this hole in quite a big way. He's opened Ooh. up with two. Device of Magisk. Oh, there's Whoa. the lineup for Magisk. And now it all falls onto Hampus. He's got to be the man to see this through right to the very, very end. Bomb dropped out in the open. He's looking for Magisk, who goes on this very long wrap all the way back around to main Hampus. What can he do here? He has no idea as to the whereabouts of Device. And as he hops oh, around, dear. oh, Device has missed the timing. Ah, he just gets through the connector. How's he managed that? Hampus be beginning quite the run into this B bomb site. He's going to get that bomb down. There was some speculation that there were, when this man joined replacing oh. Lecro, he might not be able to live up in terms of the firepower that Lecro provided, but this clutch might already be won by the fact that Stralis, they still think it's A, and now it's dawned on them a little too late. Hampus, his brain swelling, it's huge as he's got this bomb down. It's so much time already ticked off the clock. He's playing inside of the site. Astralis, they've got very little time to play with, so they've got to be fast. They tap the bomb, Magisk Ooh. is dropped, and now just Device left to beat. Hampus with the 4K gets it all for NIP. Who on earth is Hampus? This guy is an absolute madman. He's a machine, and... They go back, RPK down in the pit, going to have his IGL come and rejoin him here. But Dupree is wrapping them. He's trying to change the aim of the game. He's left that bomb, and that's what they're both expecting him to hold on to. Dupree <laughs> playing the trigger discipline, and he might get rewarded. There it is, Dupree with the clutch. 1v2, and delayed gratification is... But they do have to wait things out. There's a bit of util still popped down there by Fury up. I'm starting to run down, and Finney does catch John G. It's three on three for the retake. Oh. And he spotted on banana side leaf, though, is going to be smoked off. So let's see. Furia won't expect the dry push. Case Serato's looking this direction, though. It's going to be the two man peak. But the time leaf. he's found, and Leaf gets the double. Oh, done Final it. man found, and there's enough time to get on the bomb. There it is, the eight to seven half. Perfect stuff from Chaos on the retake. They keep all three players alive. And he gives it up. I mean, here we go. I said it. It is T-side nuke. If they pick this one up, if they continue to roll, let's not forget. Sorry, what? Stewie and Grimmer in the server, folks. It seems Stewie's got a companion, a partner in crime for this absurd 2v5. He's picked up the going to win this. Bomb's loose. Modern JT's flow. not got friends. I've got a foreboding feeling. Certainly. Right? It's, it's just that little bit of worry. Grim, I don't know yet. Oh! <laughs> I don't think Floppy's going to remember any of that either. Head gets ripped off and now JT is sweating. So is Martin. Like, this was the round. This was the chance. We had it all. We had the picks. We had the entries. And now we've got Stewie kind of guarding the bomb, looking after his buddy. Oh! oh right, I'm leaving. I'll see you later. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Team Liquid have found themselves a gem. Grim and Stewie, 2v5, up against the world. He needs to get that bomb planter. No, he's gone. Nico wide swinging what? onto Kenny. No time. It's the bang. He's got it. Straight through the box as Kadian was planting. G2 take the round. Amanek, he was helpless from B short. The bomb going down on triple and straight through the box. That's the smoke now. This gets awkward. Faven missing his options now. He needs to find a one quickly, swinging his RPK. And now, yeah, I'm afraid. Tag. <gasps> Tags him. Oh, he misses him by an inch. Body blocking. Another chance. The body blocking. Oh. He hits him. There's no time. And Spitty's done it. Just like that. That was wild. Sprout will find their third off the back of Spitty. It was all about him. The plant. Some utility to play with, but the smokes. Are they going to bother using them? Henny and Arch just with a flash and a beautiful crossfire. Leaf now knows the position of Henny, but just has to try to figure out Art. Oh no, Vanity's actually found that on the retake as well. It's going to go to the one on one. Henny does have the flash to play with swinging wide, but just trying to buy as much time as possible there around new box. Vanity unable to connect now, just winding him, unable to in that smoke, which ends up not working oh, out. Me. And it was an absolute cluster there, but Henny. 
finds himself the 4K, the saviour of the round, and that's going to be Furia getting on the board. Yeah, indeed. A bit of man setup does it work again. This time, all three invested deep into sight, and Zephyr kicks it off nicely. Vinny on the trade, but Jonji's here and fighting. It's a two for two, but they have no idea that Steel's He's hiding again. on the back of sight. The trigger discipline, it's here, and he might be able to get some more. Oh, they didn't spot him, and it's going to be two for free. Steel with the blaze. That's huge from Steel. He's won the round for Chaos again. The exact same strategy. All you have to do is hide, ladies and gentlemen. Patience is a virtue. Two seconds. There's no time for Yuri to plant the bomb. And Leaf, oh, that adds insult to injury. Not that it matters. It's all for Invictus. Oh, I haven't been super keen on his org play either. So we'll see if it's got the stopping power that he needs. Bomb's been left in T spawn. And Flying's got this flank off. Oh. Trigger discipline. Edging forward. His rotation's going to come through shortly. It looks like it is going to be the second mid players, but the full lineups here. Three is too much to ask for. Gets the second, and Olivia misses the shot. Can he fight for his life? Second opportunity missed as well as Invictus. Just like that, they're back in the game, but they still need to close it from here. Flying slots it straight to T stairs. And KTZ, 40 seconds and a dream, needs to reroute back towards second to have any chance now. But Invictus. Not aware that the bomb's still in this position. Don't think he's even got time to pick up the bomb and route it to the bomb site. Flying, that's an ace. Whoa. Big round from the man. Perfect timing with the mid push.